berated B rated movies. Welcome to berated B rated movies, where B rated isn't a bad word. I'm Anthony. What is going on, everybody? I am Brian. <laughs> coming in with that. And with a little bit of baritone. Right. <laughs> He's coming in with some do re mi fa so's. <laughs> what? And uh, Lego. Lego will be. Lego the be dog here. is <laughs> in the background. Just chilling. <laughs> um, what, uh, what's going on? Not a man. Just got back from uh, out of state. Nice. Yeah, long drives. They're always fun, right? It's not bad, you know, depending on the company, you know. Well, if more than one person is driving, then it's probably a lot better. Yeah, the weather coming back was real shitty, though. Like, real shitty. Like, it was, like, super rainy, and then I think it was foggy, too. And so, like, the visibility was, like, damn near zero. And so, when you're driving on, like, a two-lane highway, and you're just like, this person's driving slow. I'm going to try to pass him. You're just like, I, I don't know if there's a car coming. Cannonball run. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hold tight <laughs> and go. Just feel like Han Solo going into hyperspeed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. Um, we rented a car, so we didn't have to drive our car, you know? Okay. And uh, I don't know when this happened, but, you know, people were like, oh, where are you going to take it? We're like, oh, we're going to go to this state. They're like, no, you're not. We're like, oh, okay. I mean, no, we're not. I mean, no, we're not going to do that (laughs) thing that I just said that I was going to do. Right. Like, (laughs) your rental car, we'll come right back with it. You see that we have a pickup date and a drop-off date. Which that reminds me, it was like... This was way back. I worked at Hollywood Video, and the the new manager came in, and uh, or the yeah the new like the new store manager came in, and he was like, he was like, we don't trade rentals for food around here, and what? I was gonna like raise my hand and be like, oh, I've done that, and I was like, I'm not going oh, to say that. Okay, I get what you okay because like there was the pizza place, yeah across the way and all you had to do was call and be like do you want a couple rentals oh, and I never thought about that yeah i've worked at a fast food joint and we became friends with all the other fast food joints because of that because of trades yeah but apparently he got real pissed about that we were supposed to be doing that so yeah because what if you lost some there's like hey what happened to this movie oh dude well, I had you, a, they have to set up an account i had a, a whopper <laughs> hmm yeah, they have to set up an account, so like they have to return it, otherwise they get late fees. Dude, our shit was I'm pretty sure like we like ran that place like under because Because <laughs> of free base light bulbs. Dude, yeah. <laughs> that like like I said, like we like you lose so much respect for food when you work at a place like that, man. Yeah. Like we would seriously just take a piece of food bite it once and be like all right bye and get rid of it like we'd grab like you know the equivalent of like three meals for like a snack and then be like oh, oh, oh be you know and then be done with it well, there's no fucking way that we would eat we'd like make these huge contraptions of food <laughs> and be like oh no nah, i'm full <laughs> i can't eat this i Damn. don't know why i made it dude it is ridiculous, like how, like I said. But then you also, well, it was funny because we were friends with uh, some people that worked at a place called, well, like, it's uh, Jamba Juice, you know? And so we'd always hit them up, be like, yo, we're going to come over, we'll get you something, let us come over there. And so we came to the point where we were s- trading so much shit that they'd just be like, yeah, come over. And then they'd have their line, and like we'd just be able to be like, hey, we're going to go in the back and make our own. And so we would just go to the back Jeez. and make our own like Jamba Juices. Yeah, you can't see my eyes just got wide. Dude. And that, that blows my mind. Yeah, we're like, all right, here's your food. Like, could you imagine going to Jamba Juice and seeing somebody rocking like, you know, a Del Taco uniform? And then you're just <laughs> like, 
what the hell? Why is that guy making a Jamba Juice? Then he just takes it and then leaves. Like, what the hell? This is weird. Yeah, yeah. That shit was shit was real, man. And like the manager that was working for or that we were working for, like they would always like we would <laughs> like every time you want a cup, get a new cup. Get a new cup. Get a new cup. And so they're like, enough. Get in your cups. And so they <laughs> they bought everybody their own plastic cups and like put their names on them and everything like that. So they're like nice cups. Because we probably ran through like, I don't know, a million dollars worth of cups. Well, yeah, because those cups aren't <laughs> probably aren't cheap. No. <laughs> so we'd run through cups and then, yeah, man, <laughs> blowing through all the food. No. Nope. It, it's, Yeah. But anyways, yeah, I didn't even think about <laughs> trading food for other services. Yeah, no, I like mean, we would, and I didn't know that was a thing until like the pizza place <laughs> called us and was like, "Hey, was like, you want some stuff?" Yeah, like, "Hey, can uh, do you guys want a large pizza if you give us a couple rentals?" And I was like, "Never even thought of that." And I was like, "This is probably illegal, but." I'm just gonna go with it. I don't think it would be illegal. I think the only thing is that if it got lost or something, well, they have to rent it. Yeah. So we would do it as a free rental. And this feels like an old sentence because these places hardly exist anymore. And now that's why they're out of business is because Subway kept giving them footlongs. No, that's not (laughs) why. No, no. The reason they're out of business is because you only had two copies of Back to the Future Part Two. And when two people rent it, no more people can rent it. Yeah. But if I have it on my on my voodoo or whatever. But this wasn't out back then. That's the thing, though, is the streamers uh, knocked the video stores out of business. Yeah. I mean, I've seen cops where. Because I'm pretty sure uh, it was Netflix announced they're ending their DVD uh, distributions. Do they still do that? Yeah. What? Yeah. For all the movies that aren't streaming available. They have a DVD service. What? You know how much a DVD player is? Go to well, Walmart. Or like a Blu-ray. You know how much those things are still? Well, I, I mean, I have an Xbox, so. <laughs> yeah. The step down from a regular DVD player. I mean, <laughs> sounds like hater aid to me, but I mean, I'm just saying. Dude, because I was like, hey, you know, we might as well just look to see how much they are. They're still like 70 bucks. And you're just like. Do they even sell DVDs and Blu-rays anymore? Like, isn't everything just digital? I mean, they do. I mean, I was talking to, um, which this, yeah, this uh, conversation will be out next month. Um, I believe mid-month-ish uh, to Jay Horton. And mm-hmm. he's, uh, uh, his movie Craving, uh, the Blu-ray is, uh, distribution, I believe, is August. Yeah, I'm for all his, for him. And I was mentioning it because I was like, I, for the ones I really, really like, like I do want to pick up the Blu-ray just for the fact that... like It's a physical copy of well, it. Well, yeah, like Levi has said, like it has said before, and you know, it's weird that a three-year-old's saying it, but like he said, I want to watch these movies with you when I get old enough. And, there it goes. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know where I'm going to be able to find this movie in 15 years when he's old enough to watch it. Yeah. So... I would like to have it. So when he's like, <clears throat> I want to watch those movies, it's like, okay, here they are. Write an old ass movie though. But this is going to be hella fucking old. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like we but have, they'll still be good. We have like big ass totes, like those ones, like a human can fit into of DVDs and Blu-rays and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think my wife was going through one of her, cleaning phases and like threw away an entire tote and i was like what did, did you, you throw even away see what was in there probably not <laughs> i'm serious yeah so i was like i hope there weren't any like funny ones or good ones or anything like that but i mean if you think about it i don't even know the last time i watched a dvd was do you know yeah which there's one that i got that i think we need to do and it's a good thing i got it there you go. I, I'm not going to say it now. Well, let's keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you, you, you'll you see it when the episode comes out. Dun, 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 dun. Stay peeled. Oh. That's um, a good one. 
but yeah so what are we watching tonight um as i ask myself the question that i normally right. answer <laughs> um like, dun, 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 dun. uh we're watching i know Rogue. we have a toss-up well, we had a toss-up. Okay, so we can watch. And so then it's either or. So then... And either or. It's a surprise to me. So just with the timing of the way things are working, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, we're going with Grotesque. Ooh. Directed by Brandon Rhinus. It's a good... The About the girl with the Pinocchio nose. I feel like and there's going to be a lot of... An entire town that hates her. I think there's a lot of PSA that's going to go on in this one. Oh, yeah. Just from the trailer. Yeah, the girl has a a big nose. It's And everybody you, fucking... The, the thing that drew me to this movie was that this nose does not look human <laughs> in any... Like it's discernible, clearly. deceivable way whatsoever. Yeah. And everybody is just acting in this movie like like it's a normal nose. Like like it's a normal like nose that you can make fun of and they're not thinking that nose looks fake as fuck. Like What's that movie <laughs> Roxanne? I think. With the old white the old uh white haired guy. Who was in The Jerk. He was in SNL. Oh, Steve Martin? Yeah, Steve Martin. Yeah, that's Roxanne. Right, where he has that Cyrano big, huge de nose. It's the, the adaptation of it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got that big old nose and he saves the day. Because yeah. Because he smells that fire coming and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So... Yeah, so it's about this girl who has a big nose. Yeah, it's supposed to be an adaptation of Cyrano de Bergerac. All right. This, like, deformed, or has this hideously deformed nose, or it's like his face is deformed, or what something. What if she just tells a lot of lies? Yes. Pinocchio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, this is what happens when you tell lies, kids. Yeah. But, uh, no, the thing that I like about this movie, this, to me, this is the, the, the more... Like easily, uh, easily funny type of horror comedy yeah. where there are funny things that are happening, but we are not like everybody is not aware of how ridiculous they're being. They're just being ridiculous. Or if there's just how everybody is in that town, like they're just like, hey, everybody, pick on somebody who's mean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's determined. But, but yeah, it's it looks really fun. Yeah, and then. What you brought a uh, Jack, Jack, Jack Daniels, Daniels. old know, number last... seven, right here. <laughs> this what we'll be serving today in a towel. <laughs> I'll ask my head. Jack was man. I know. I just got it because the uh, the VGK uh, gift you set hear <laughs> was there. A messed up story. So this weekend I was out of town, and uh, what do you call it? We went to a liquor store, of course, because. We always need liquor. Mm-hmm. And uh, what do you call it? Somebody was there and they were passing out samples, you know? And so do you know the difference between liquor and liqueur? Um, no. From what I have always thought, like liquor, the alcohol content's higher. Look, excuse me. There you go, Jack Daniels. Uh, liqueur is a little bit thicker, like syrupy. Um, what do you call it? Sugary. It's yeah. not as potent. Stuff like that, right? That's yeah. what I thought all these years of me thinking I know stuff. So like, uh, Just blissful ignorance, dude. Oh man. Um, what do you call it? So, uh, Kahlua. For instance, Bailey's. Yeah. Like that's a little bit thicker, stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. pretty sure those are like the liqueurs. <laughs> so we go to this liquor store and this dude's up there. He's like, Hey guys, you wanna sample some liqueurs? And I'm just like, nah. Like I'm just gonna go straight back to the whiskey, grab my shit, and leave. And my brother, he's like, Yeah, sure. Like he's talked to the guy and he gets some. 
And I hear the guy talk about like old fashions, you know, and I'm, hopefully he's talking about old fashioned drinks and not hand jobs, right? To <laughs> so my brother, because it'd be really weird. That'd be that would be very strange. <laughs> you like old fashions? You know what I do? Would you worry about your brother? Nah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I worry about that guy, but I mean, also my brother, he likes to poke the bear a little bit, so he probably could have been like, what one are you talking about? You see? <laughs> I can see him saying that. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's very casual. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, whatever. So I grab literally like three handles to last us for a day and a half. <laughs> so Jeez. we get this alcohol. Yeah, this weekend I I don't know, like so we got back into town Sunday. So I've drank nothing but water Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday for the most part. I mean I've had like beef jerky for the road trip and then Monday came into town and I had like some beef jerky. But dude, like I've had nothing. Like I've probably drank easily like four gallons of water, <laughs> like just chugging water. Like, damn, I need to get my uh, my shriveled raisin kidneys and liver back into peak <laughs> fitness. They're mad at you. <laughs> but um, we go. My brother's like, go try that. And I was like, God damn it, I don't want to try it. And so I go over there, and the guy. He's like, what do you want to try? I was like, I don't know, man. I'm like, my brother told me to come try this. And so my, my brother's like, I think it was like blood orange. Get the blood orange liqueur. I was like, can I just get that? So the guy pours me a shot of this blood orange liqueur, and I just gulp it. I was like, <laughs> like, fuck off. It was just, it wasn't liqueur, dude. It was just straight fucking bourbon. And it just like burned the chest. My instantly, my hair started going bing, 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 like popping out of my chest, <laughs> dude. And my brother's like, "You're not supposed to shoot. You're supposed to sip on it." I was like, "I didn't know that shit." And so the guy's like, "Here, let me get you another one." So he pours another like half a shot of the orange one, and he's like, "Now, if you like old fashioned, it's like here's other ones." Then he poured regular bourbon into it, and then I was like, "Do I shoot this now?" And he's like. You can do whatever you want. He's like, but probably sip on it. And so I sipped. I was like, oh, yep, still hot. You know, and I just fucking ended up shooting the rest of it. I look at it. The shit that he was giving us, the blood orange, whatever, was 70 proof. Jeez. Yeah. And I was like. But that does sound good. That's liquor. That's not liqueur. I do like old fashions. Don't Everybody does. I don't like the cups that they come in. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. You know, we have a restaurant. Because uh, they do them in a martini glass, right? Yeah. yeah. But I tell them, I was like, can I get it in like a man's cup, please? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a classy lady on her first date trying to impress uh, gentlemen yeah, callers. Nah. <laughs> get an old fashioned, ask it for like a rocks cup or something like that. Yeah. But then it's still pretty funny because they still give you the cherries. And you're just like, when you eat the cherry too. Yeah. You're just like, oh, yeah, dude. Old fashions. Those ain't nothing to fuck with. Yeah, especially, you know, and the thing, it was like 1030 in the morning. So wow. I would freaking brush my teeth, go to the store, and then instantly just have bourbon breath. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And what's, yeah, good times, man. Oh, yeah. In our opening, we should probably mention um, <clears throat> our, uh, we should mention our other podcasts that. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we have our conversa or the <clears throat> berated, berated conversations podcast. Boom. Which this week, um, prior to this episode airing, uh, you would have gotten Jay Burleson and Allison Shrum from. Let me see if I can get this title right because I biffed it when I talked to them. <laughs> biffed it. That's a funny word. I've yeah. heard it in a while. It's like a long ass title. Um, the the third Saturday. In October, Boom. part five and part one, which are meant to be watched backwards. Part five first, then part one. So exactly how we said it. Which are out on streaming now. Boom. And we talked to a good friend of the podcast. Bump it on. John Eisberg and a new friend of the podcast, Miles Valentine, about Final Summer, which came out on Wednesday. 
Dude, but he still says he's editing. I know. Like, that, like we well, told him in the conversation, we told him, like, hey, yeah, we, t- we were talking. I don't remember who we were talking to. There's like, what do you have to edit? Like, it was such a great movie. Well, that was the thing. Like, when we first watched it, September, that was still at Popcorn Frights. Like, the first, I think that was like the first, he said that was one of the first showings. Um, I watched it and I was like, yeah, I could use a little, like a tweak here and there if you're really trying to just like tighten it up. But the stuff that he's telling us that he's doing yeah. without spoiling it, that's nuts. I mean, that's just, the thing is like when I when we watched it the first time, like I was like, this this movie is pretty fucking bomb. Damn. Like there's not a whole lot you can do to make it a lot better. But then he's telling us, so a little spoiler, I guess. Is he's like, yeah, what do you say? He's at 700 or 800 tracks. 741 yeah. audio tracks of sound. Yeah. For international, because apparently for international distributors, you have to have separate audio tracks for background because they're going to add in their own audio based off of a script if it gets mm. picked up internationally. Yeah, right. I'm going to say that's some bullshit. No, I believe that. Every time, no, no, no. <clears throat> every time we watch a movie that's dubbed over the audio and the subtitles never line up because <laughs> it's, it's probably going to be like the world's worst <laughs> fucking guessing game <coughs> excuse me but yeah we talked to him um also check out our website berated mm-hmm. movies.com and if you have any comments or suggestions or movie ideas or you want to tell us what you like about the show, what you don't like about the show, you can email us at berated, berated movies, one whole phrase at gmail.com. Boom. Um, yeah, I think there's tips to survive on our tips website. To survive. And uh, also in this next coming week, we should have a fully functional store with hats and shirts. And we can move to other merchandise if people uh, let us know that they want other things like cell phone cases and prophylactics and <laughs> berated V-rated condoms. No. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Do you got protection, babe? We're going into a scary forest. <laughs> <laughs> but uh fucked up. yeah like we can do other uh other stuff through Redbubble because it'll be through Redbubble. but that that all that information will be going out through the website as well underwear um <laughs> no i think like Redbubble had some weird stuff and it's like it was like shower curtains that'd be fucked up like why would you want a shower curtain with a psa or a logo on it i tried to get uh my buddy I felt so shitty, like, <clears throat> my buddy and I, we've known each other, this is like, I don't know, seventh grade, and like, we'll get each other gifts, you know, our birthdays are semi-close to each other, you know, we'll get each other, like, funny gifts and everything like that, and so, it was our birthday coming up, and he's like, all right, man, I got you something, and I was like, fuck, you know, we didn't, we haven't done this since you moved, you know, so I was like, all right, I got you something, and he was like a big like John Wick fan, like everybody should be. And so I bought him like. I guess uh, I'm not everybody then. God damn it! All right, I've Thanks watched everybody. <laughs> and then we're gonna wrap the show up. I watched <laughs> half of a John Wick movie because I can't pay attention. And then your boner just exploded because of how amazing it was. You had to go to the ER. No, I, I mean, understand. I like I like Keanu Reeves, and I think he's cool. I just like that first movie's a little rough for me, dude. You know, he actually did all that training with the guns and the knives. I'll believe it. No, he's he's fucking legit. I just like, I even like the, like the guy that plays the bad guy, Mm -hmm. um, who was, yeah, the Russian dude. Yeah. Who was like Michael Bloomquist in the original (laughs) girl with the dragon tattoo. I like him too. I just like, I can't get into that movie. I don't know what it is, dude. It's their official movies, man. But okay. Sorry. I I just bombarded your story here. (laughs) But he's a big John Wick fan, and so if you look it up, if you look like if you look it up like John Wick as Jesus or something like that, like it's him, like you know those uh the Hispanic candles with Jesus, and it has like the rays of light behind them. Yeah, like I, I, I think I put out something for Brian James O'Connell about the Pedro Pascal uh, um, Jesus candle. Maybe, yeah, yeah. So it's that, kind of thing, except yeah. it's Keanu holding his gray pit bull. 
but it, it's him as like dresses Jesus and stuff like that, and so it looks like him because he has Jesus haircut and everything. Yeah. So I bought this big ass like a uh, like three foot by four foot canvas painting of it. <laughs> and so I said that to him, right? And I was like, oh, he's gonna love this for sure. And his apartment is like a. Uh, I don't know, like so mild. Like he doesn't have anything on the walls. Like the only thing he has in his kitchen is like his like thousands of dollars worth of knives that he collects. Okay. You know? And so then he like I get my present and it's like a fucking I don't know, like six hundred dollar like Japanese kitchen knife. And I'm like, fuck me. Like you got me a serious gift. And you got a funny gift. And I got him a fucked up gift. And he gets and he's like I'm not hanging this up in my apartment. I'm like, the fuck you aren't? I was like, you're putting that shit in your living room, dude. Do it now. Yeah. And so then, to be a dickhead, I fucking bought him the matching shower curtain. Oh, my <laughs> God. Dude, and that just pissed him off a second time. He's like, I'm not putting this up in my shower. I was like, put that shit up, man. Like, the, you know? You know how funny it would be like if we were single? And some chick brought you back home, and all of a sudden she has like a fucking John Wick Jesus shower curtain. I'd be like, "That's fucking hilarious!" Like, I mean, okay, I'd get it. It's, it's like, funny. But anyways, it, yeah. it's, it's like the same reason my wife likes certain actors. It's like, oh, he's such a great actor. I just love watching his work. It's like, yeah, it's like, I get it. It's fucking Jay Hernandez because his butt. I, you you like his butt. <laughs> it's it's the like it's the same reason that I like certain actresses. It's like I'll watch all their movies. It's, their teeth. It's like, oh, Those she just plays every role so amazing. It's like beautiful bouncing teeth. It's like, I, <laughs> I yeah, it's like I really just like watching her. That's pretty much it. Like, <laughs> yeah, fucking funny. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but then that's just PSA. So then we had to tell everybody, all our friends, like, no buying serious gifts, unless it's a really, really cool one. Or warn somebody if, <clears throat> like, hey, I'm getting you a serious gift so, so they know to get you one kind of thing, maybe? Like a fair play? I don't know. One time my buddy, I got him, it was right after Golis Night, Golis, Golden Knights came into town. Yeah. And they wanted to start getting into hockey, so we got them... Um. A hockey stick, and I got the little girl cashier to like forge a signature on it. And it was like, you know, you don't score until you score. And then they signed a a pretty fucking stupid name on it. But he really likes that name. And so he's like, How'd you get and you know, what was funny was that they signed it and it looks similar to the real like signature. The actual signature, yeah. Yeah. And so he's like <laughs> How did you get this? And I was like, we went to a Golden Knights game and that person was there. And he's like, no way. And so he fucking hung that hockey stick up on his wall. And did you have the heart to tell him? Fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, after a while. Well, the the major thing was, too, was that he had like a big ass uh, entertainment center. Okay. And he had dogs. And so their shit would always go underneath it. And so I was like, I'm going to get you a hockey stick. You just get that shit underneath it easily. And so then that's where the idea came from. And then I was like, wait a second. What if we got somebody to forge a signature? And that's what happened. And he was like so happy and everything like that. You know. You just crushed it. Yeah, but he still has it hanging out of his house. Okay. It's still pretty funny. <laughs> but, all right. You hear that? Yep. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back with the beginning of Grotesque. This is fucking funny. <laughs> and we're back for the beginning of Grotesque. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, a Brandon Rhinus film? I like this guy. I do. All right. Open up to uh, somebody put a makeup on. Getting her eyebrows did. <laughs> why are you coloring your eyebrows? I don't know why people do that, but I guess it's yeah. a thing. Well, I guess me, I'm just cursed with like the world's biggest, bushiest eyebrows. It's lucky you. I know. Ladies right? would kill for your eyebrows right now. Yeah, yeah, right. This and person would. They're like, oh, I'd love to color my eyebrows in. And she's looking at a fashion magazine. 
I was saying like during the pandemic where you had to wear your mask all the time. Like I was like, I could never just wear a mask and be like, give me all the money in the register. Because you'd be like, I know that's you, Brian. <laughs> I fucking see your eyebrows coming a mile away. Like, quit fucking around. Yeah. Like, oh, I was, I was just, I was just kidding. So now she's, oh, she's looking at Canada's no, most notorious serial killers. You think Canada has serial killers? I'm sure they do. They're just really Besides polite. The Canadian geese. Like, I'm sorry about this. And then I have to I'm, stab you? Yeah, I'm sorry about this. Can I tell you what it's a boot before I stab you? God. Yeah. <laughs> they just drown you in maple syrup? <laughs> sorry, Canada. Oh, I love Canada. Yeah. Uh, great Letter Kenny. It's a great yeah. show. And then we Holy see her fuck. nose. Man, that thing's a beak. <laughs> Man. That's a good six inches soft. It looks like okay. Do you remember <laughs> the part in Beetlejuice where, like, he pulls where his face out by the nose yeah. and it turns into those giant nostrils? That's what it looks like. All right. So now we're at the at a bar. God, that looks like a skank Adele. Yeah, and she's talking like she's the shit. Uh, Her name's Blanche. So there's a table full of skanks that are just completely rude. And we have people here for an uh, 80s night. Like, what's with all the the big flashy ooh. scrunchies? And then it looks like we have a table of not very popular people. Is that guy literally drinking chocolate milk at yeah. a bar? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's why he's sitting at the not popular table. And here comes uh, the lady with the big nose. That he's just thing is, annoyed that he's staring at her nose. So she walks by the table of Jaeger bombs, and she goes and sits down with the table of unpopular kids. Yeah. All right. Well, there's some dudes playing pool. Which you can totally tell it's a fake nose because they had to add like like cheek inserts to like fill it out. Otherwise, it would just look weird. Weirder than it looks. Yeah. And okay, so this guy looks like um So there's this dude like, from <laughs> like Yeehaw? Jamie Kennedy if like oh, yeah. like he was a dad. Yeah, he's wearing that shitty cowboy jacket with like the things on it. Oh, it's karaoke night. He's got he's got he looks like Randy from Scream if he was a dad, basically. Like <laughs> God. So do these people know each other? Yeah, I guess they're all like co workers. And here comes the the big nose girl. She's up there singing. All right, she's singing and helps. Oh, but there's Adele. no like, there's no backing track. She's just a cappella. That's how you should do it. Uh, that's very brave for a karaoke. Damn, there are. Is this eighties night? Like you said, I, it looks like an eighties night because those... there's there's all those people in like like shoulder pads. And jean jackets and scrunchies. And big hair. Yeah. So now the the skanky table is making fun of her big nose. But yeah, like she's singing pretty well, right? Like it's she's yeah, able they, to... <laughs> now the dick faces <laughs> playing pool are using the pool as their... Uh, pretend it's their nose. Making fun of her nose. Which, the way he does it. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not for people like making he's just fun trying of other to, like, people. Play a trumpet or something. <laughs> like, wah, wah, like fucked up. <laughs> the way, yeah, I'm not for people making fun of other people, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> so far, everybody in this town, except Her name for that Mildred, table of nerds is messed up. Yeah, so that's Mildred. So they said that she should date this guy named Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah. So now the cowboy I'm sorry, owner I spit my drink out. <clears throat> You just spit take, <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, El, or older Jamie Kennedy is now calling the boss, the CEO of the boss. But here comes Blanche, the uh, uh, the, the head Jaeger bomb of the rude table. Yeah, like she's just very brassy. What the fuck is she wearing? I'm pretty sure my grandma had those pants. I know. So she takes like a shot. She took that dude shot. It wasn't even hers. Yeah. And now she's she's gonna start with her back to everybody, like she's like it's her concert. Like she's gonna be ready to sing Pour some sugar on me. Yeah. Oh, but nope, now she's just walking around. 
messing up the pool table during their game. God. <laughs> okay, but he Even deserves the guys. that. Yeah, that's the did. guy who made the nose <clears> gesture. <throat> Now she's just walking around the tables, just rubbing on people. Everybody's looking at her like she's extra. I mean, she looks like a nerd. I don't know why. You see that big, huge screen behind them? Why isn't that on? Yeah, that was, yeah with the words. And now she's laying on the table. Oh, oh wow. There she, you go. Like Spread eagles spread, on it. <laughs> spread eagles on the table. She's throwing yeah. up in the air like she's a... Uh, Superstar, which is like you do a kick, yeah, do a stretch. Sally O'Malley, 50, <laughs> 50 years old. <laughs> so, god, those friends, man. But yeah, she's Another got her PSA don't like, be a skank. Two supportive friends of her extraness. Uh oh, and Mildred obviously hates her. You get the, the long take scowl, yeah. And and here comes elder or older Jamie Kennedy to be like, okay, you're done. <laughs> and he's like, that was Blanche. She's like, don't forget it, bitches. And everybody's so amazed, like, oh, she just said a B word. Wow, she's so brave. So Mildred orders a. Did she get a Something. seltzer water? I don't know, but she says it's flat. That looks like water. <clears throat> Jeez, and the waitress is so rude. She's a pretty big waitress. You could have just said, like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me fix that for you. And it clearly is. It's just a cup of water. And she says, is there something wrong with this drink? And the bartender who's trying to smash up on Blanche, he says, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh Uh-oh. Bartender says, fine. She's like, but it's not fine. It's flat. Yeah. Uh Uh-oh. Maybe this is why your bar only has, like... 30 people in it for karaoke night. Not even 30. It looks like it's 10 and it's all from one work party. But now she has to pay for her flat drink. And she says, if you don't, I'm going to get the bartender to beat you up. And he flexes his pecs at her. (laughs) That's what I do as a bartender. I'm going to go, go to a girl's night out and just fight them. Yeah. Pay for that drink. Listen, motherfucker. Mm Mm-hmm. So now Blanche is just walking around trying to get people to leave. Oh, God, you spilt club soda on you. You don't need to go to the bathroom and wash it off. It's not going to stay. It's just clear. Wet. <laughs> uh, so now Blanche is in the mirror looking at her nose. Yeah. Poor girl. So now what she the fuck? Heads- Instantly, everybody's gone. Wow. And the lights are off. And she got everybody's receipt. God, is that a CVS receipt? So she's got to pay for everybody's drink, basically, is what they're implying here. I'd say, nope, not me. Yeah, no. So now all of a sudden there's a gunshot and a guy takes off running. Oh, there's somebody dead or lying in the street. So Mildred's coming over there looking around. Wow. What the f- Okay, so if I'm shot... Yeah, nope, fuck that guy. And on the ground, I... Uh, the fr- when I ask you for help, listen, fucking bitch. Yeah, the <laughs> first thing that this dude said, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, yeah, well, there's probably a reason why you were shot. Okay, now you're going to die yep. because you're rude. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. So now she's back at her apartment. That's a nice apartment. It does it's look all right. Giant kitchen. It does look all right. Oh, somebody's getting... <clears throat> Some booty cheeks clapped. I think that's her roommate is getting it. <laughs> or their neighbor. But yeah, for sure, somebody's splacking hams. Is it? I, I wonder if it's comfortable <clears throat> to sleep on your side if you have that on nose. On your side or your stomach? On, well, definitely not on your stomach because then you have to like arch your, your neck. neck is back. Your neck is back. <laughs> your neck is bent. Yeah. But, so now she's out in the kitchen, and here comes the guy who was boning down with her roommate from last night. Comes out of the bathroom and gets scared, like, oh. And, oh, it's Dave. Somebody named Dave, huh? Oh, that's a great breakfast. Fucking cheese puffs. Yeah. Not only are those just disgusting at any time of the day, but that's the first thing you eat in the morning. They're, they're not very flavorful. God. Damn. Or healthy or nutritious. 
So Dave likes some thick. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> His, her roommate is thick. With two C's. <laughs> Did she just pull her gl- a glass of fucking bourbon in the morning? Yeah. Damn, these roommates are Hair some of the gangsters, dog. dude. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, so she's like, I'm not trying to get notched on my bedpost. You have a sense of humor connection. Oh, so the bigger oh, is that jealousy I detect. Mm-hmm. Oh, so then she just puts the Canada's most notorious serial killers book up right yeah. in her face, like this is how I'm gonna show you I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I'm ignoring you. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, nope. You're right here in front of me. <laughs> you could be attractive if you just fix your nose. Ugh. She should she should clap back at that. She should be like, "Yeah, you could be attractive if you weren't, you know, thick with two double C's. thick thighs." <laughs> I don't want to say the mm-hmm. other word. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, so now she is instead of talking, she just wrote the word "no" down. Yeah. So now we're at a high rise. What the fuck? This is how you know somebody thinks they're important if they have a picture of themselves wearing a crown on their own desk. Yeah, like there's this nerd that plays basketball that put his own crown on his head. Huh. <laughs> he thinks he's the goat, but he's actually nowhere near. So now Blanche is bitching out some glasses oh, guy. He was there last night. Yeah, he was there. He, Not his the shoulder, boss. His yeah. shoulder pads weren't as big as the other people. And so she demands coffee from from Mildred. Blanche does in her number one bitch uh, cup. <laughs> oh, I like how she's wearing two different types of plaid. I know. Big plaid on her pants and small plaid on her jacket. It looks like we're in an 80s music video. Isn't that clashing? Yeah. So now we're in the break room kitchen. And... They're just getting shit. Oh, she's getting her coffee still. Ooh. Matilda's the new girl? <laughs> okay. So the girl that told her you almost poked my eye out with your nose, she has a high forehead. Right? Yeah, she's got some big ass monster teeth. <laughs> she's got, yeah, chiclets and a high forehead. Dude. And so, so now. Yeah, Mildred comes in with the coffee and the sugars and creams. And the boss is getting all pissed off at her. She's, what are those? She's like, those are your sugars and cream. I don't know how you take that shit. Like, this is the part where, like, if I ever became, I don't know. God, instead of having a face off. Yeah. That nose is just. I mean, okay, that nose is now an advantage in this case. If you ask right? me to come closer, I'll just come too close to the point that I almost poke your eye out just to teach you a lesson. I wonder how Mildred's uh, nose is in real life. <laughs> I mean, I believe she has a YouTube page. So we'll have to peep and She's it. like a singer. We'll have to peeps it. So now, oh, so there's an advertisement. It says trendsetter. Oh, Blanche's birthday. Athletic <gasps> blonde guy. Ew, so it looks like Mildred requested a day off and it was approved. And then they crossed her name out and put Blanche on it. Oh, so yeah. So Mildred now has to work on a day that... Because high forehead girl wanted it more than her. See, if Michael Jackson was alive right now, he'd say, Take a look at yourself, man. Change, make a change. Mm-hmm. It's a great song. <clears throat> it is. Don't, don't be a haters. I don't love where it came from, but it's a great song. All right. Oh, so now where the fuck are we going? That's a, yeah. That's a oh. funny story for a different day. They told. <laughs> they told her to take some boxes downstairs. So she's God downstairs with Ron Jeremy Jr. Yeah, this Ron is, Jeremy when he was a fucking ninth grader. This is like Ronald Jeremy. <laughs> All right, and then some, yeah. and a uh, and a and a and a girl, Doris. Doris comes in. She's like, Mildred, is that you? How long has it been? And you can tell that Mildred's annoyed that she sees this girl. Yeah, 
It's like, remember when I told everybody you had genital herpes in school? How is that Why funny? Would you bring that up. Yeah. That's like fucking like putting a free base light bulb in somebody's <laughs> jacket. Like, what a dick move. <laughs> Who would do that? God. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised you haven't fixed your nose by now. Wow, that's so nice of you. God damn this fucking town. Oh, anyways, I gotta go. We should grab coffee sometime, seeing how I just made fun of you. Yeah. This is like like pleasant rudeness, which I feel like that's worse. That Ugh, so she's, least, like Blanche is being upfront with you, like I'm I'm an asshole and I don't like you. Yeah. So now they're walking, she's walking through the hallway of a massage parlor and there's a th- massage person that gives her a really ugly look and then she goes and gives the box to two other people and that's like god you're just gonna stand there fuck dude i cannot wait until this murder spree happens i know so now there's a bunch of people who have earned their murder and i'm can't wait for it to happen yeah and now ninth grade ron jeremy Ron Jeremy hair. Let's just say that. <laughs> He's got that <laughs> long, luscious hair. I know. He's like, just still trying to spit that game at her. You just need a, f- a fan and he can just like, like tussle his hair in the wind. Well, I just noticed. Look how many <laughs> buttons shirt down he doesn't have. Whatever the fuck I just said. How many buttons he has undone on his shirt. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Right now we're in the bathroom. And there's one of the other office girls on her phone washing her hands. Can't it. Ew, oh, the, the one, one with the big p- nose. Jeez. And there's Mildred cleaning the toilet behind her. Ugh. God, this fucking town sucks. <sighs> yeah. This these people suck. Dude. So now Oh, so she's... Is this the sister? I think this is the sister, maybe. Yeah. And she says, what were the odds you're going to come to my wedding anyways? Ew. She's not even a bridesmaid? Oh, she won't let her be a bridesmaid. That's fucked up, too. And now she's not going to invite her? Hmm. Is that, is, that, is that the way I'm taking this? Well, I think that she just said, hey, I can't make it to your wedding because I have to work. Oh. She's like, oh. it wasn't like you were going to come anyways. The sister says you should have thick skin by now. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah, just keep taking abuse. Yeah. So now, uh, uh, Ronald Jeremy. Ronald's hair. <laughs> Ronald's hair. <laughs> He's on a date with another chick. Yeah. Oh, it looks she like she's goes home in her bed, but cries. she's crying yeah. face down. It, tr- there's more gyration if you're going <clears> to <throat> pump you your know butt. what we're saying. Yeah. And if, the roommate oh, is, the is sister? doing yoga. Is the sister or the roommate? That's the roommate. She's doing downward facing dog. And here comes oh. Mildred behind her. Ooh. Oh, and ask for her doctor's name. Uh, we see two uh, sex workers. I'd say ladies of the night. You ladies don't know of the if night. They, uh, you know. At... What looks like Casa um, Pedro. a Mexican restaurant? I mean, it doesn't have a paved parking lot, so who knows what the fuck it is. But in any case, two working women dress wow, like so that. This guy gets out of his Lexus and pushes a bunch of cans One, out. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, <laughs> so many that you can't pick them up. Damn, I like how he's perpendicularly parking... Yeah, in the he's taking in, up three in the dirt parking spots, parking lot, in the dirt lot. <laughs> Damn, and he's coming in, coming in hot with that mustache. Damn, Doctor Dr. Wa- Wash, Warsh. Oh, she says, should medical procedures be in the basement of a strip club? Okay, okay so this is a strip club. All right. Ew, she found a polka dot dress, and she's like, "Can I have this?" I mean, yeah, you can have that and the fucking crabs that come with it. Yeah. Well, if you wash it a couple times, you'll get rid of most of them. You can't shave in your pubic hair to get rid of crabs. <laughs> okay, so oh, if, your do- if your doctor is looking at your nose, oh okay, do you want him to like lightly flick your nose with his finger as tickle he's, it? Like, 
oh, let me look at this. Let me see what I'm working on. Flick, flick. <laughs> he tests the durability of it, like punches it up and down. <laughs> Maybe he just gives it a boop. He said he is 100% professional. And then he pulls out his phone. He's like, this is what you could look like. They didn't even show us the picture of it. This place looks fucking janky as hell. <clears throat> he's, he did say he's 100% professional, though. So Really? Ooh, the only reason why I don't trust him is because, again, he's got three buttons undone. Ew, I'm going to make you beautiful. What wow, so, so they're hugging, but it feels like he's enjoying this hug a little too much. Oh, and he says it's cash only. So she's in the mirror saying goodbye to her ugly self. So he said, come back in a few hours. So he's back and he's clearly drunk. He's hammered as fuck. You sure you're not too drunk? So the, his friend not even asked him, are you sure you're not too drunk to do surgery? And he says, great party. Thanks for the ride. Damn, rocking them tight ass pants with cowboy boots. Yeah, and he's chugging a beer. Smashing beers. Oh, and so he's here's the doorbell. Oh, I gotta go get the door. So I can Are there doorbells at at a, at a strip club? Strip clubs. All right, hurry up, get the Listerine. I thought, dude, I've done that. Nope, spit into a bucket. It's a trash can. <laughs> it's a trash can. I mean, we've all done it. So now he's walking. He sees a mirror. Oh, let me double check my my stash. Got to check my French tips. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and he's like strutting to the door. Ooh, opens it all creepily. You what got you the got? money? Are you the feds? How much money do you think is in that envelope? I'd say 300 bucks. Yeah, maybe. See, but look. So he's putting on, for a guy that does surgery, he's putting on really loose gloves. I mean. Those things have a lot of movement in them. Ew, he's trying to put the mask on her, but the nose is in the way. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever tried? Have you ever had surgery? Um, no. Oh, never. Never. <clears throat> Thankfully. Yeah, he's like count backwards from ten, and he lights a cigarette, and that's the last thing she sees. He lights a cigarette in the surgical area. It doesn't need to be sterile in there, does it? I would assume it does. Ew, the ashtrays on her stomach. That's really sanitary. And he's, he's 100% professional. And, and his gloved surgical hands are... He's smoking. <gasps> he's blowing smoke in her face. In the open wound? Jeez. Damn. So now, here come walking Uh-oh. into two gangsters? Yeah. All right. And so he covers her up. Stops the music. Uh, something. Yeah. Where's my money? Oh, so he owes them money. Give my money. Give my money. And he's got some of it. Ooh, just the envelope that she gave him. There's no way there's money in there. Mm-hmm. So he got back from a trip from Mexico, but he said his wife paid for the trip. And the new car. You owe me money. You're making a good living and you're going money. Ew. So now <clears throat> gangsters walk over to Mildred. <clears throat> he says she's a patient. Yeah. Pulls the... Or no... Uh, I see why what? she needs a plastic surgeon. God. Uh-oh. And so he grabs a scalpel. What a dick move. And gets punched right in the jujunum. Oh, and then he just keeps getting pounded. Yeah. Pounded. <laughs> Beat up. And he's wearing a shirt that's obviously like one size too small because he like leans over and then has to do the pull down. So now the gangster dude is chopping up her nose for no reason. Like, that's yeah. fucked up. Like, what does she have to do with anything? So he's got the nose in his hand and they're outside. And like, waves it in the other guy's face and then throws it. He threw it like he was fucking Richard Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if it was Richard Simmons threw something with his non-dominant hand, that's how that guy threw that girl's It was nose. a very limp throw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kith him. And so, the doctor, or the I don't know, doctor's generous here, this back alley surgeon uh, wakes up 
from being punched in the stomach and notices but uh, or he's on the phone oh ew, i wife. thought he was gonna check on his patient no no oh all right no he's not that kind of doctor oh that's fucked up you just tell him the car pack a bag hop in a car and get over here no i'm not worried about that don't tell right. your mother just hurry Oh, hurry up, grab a bottle of beer before you leave. And he runs. And, and he just dips, huh? Mildred uh, is still laying on the bed. Uh-oh. She's coming, too. She's coming, too. Oh, she's waking up. She's getting there. And she pulls the <clears throat> thing off her face. We still don't see her face, but... There's a whole lot less nose. Ew, she's wearing that dress that she asked. Yeah. There's no fucking way she washed that shit when she got home. No. But now she's walking out. We still don't know what her face looks like. She's stumbling, though. Yeah, she's probably still groggy. I got got out of a surgery, and I was like, okay, I'm fine. Can I leave? And they're like, no. She's got this open hole in her face. God, it looked like a, a burn, like she had leprosy, like she touched an armadillo. So now she's chloroformed her face and and bandaged it? There's no smoking allowed wherever she's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got out of surgery once, and I was like, okay, I'm good, can I go? And they're just like, no, you're still under anesthesia. I was like, no, I'm fucking not. And she's like, yes, you are. She's like, what's the capital of, like, some random state? And I was like, I don't fucking know that. I was like. <laughs> How was that a test of right? my abilities? Maybe I'm just shitty at geography. Yeah. So now she comes back in to her sister's apartment. Yeah, that's the sister. And shows her sister her <clears throat> uh, bloody bandaged face. God. And the sister's like, can't like, you call the cat? Like. The sister's the running away fuck? from her. <laughs> she said, the bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you. Ew, gross. Like, and what a fucked up sister, sister. threw a plate at her nose. And hi-ya. And now she stabs her sister in the gut. Damn. Okay, yeah, her sister deserves it. That is fucked up. Anthony, like, if I ever, like, got my nose chopped off and I was like, Anthony, I need your help. You're just like, you're disgusting. So now the sister calls her a fucking bitch. And so now she pulled the knife out and fucking helped her commit sipaku. Yeah. In her own kitchen. All right. Oh, and then she admits to uh, uh, pulling the head off of her baby Molly doll when they were kids. All right. And now the. Is this the fiance? I'm guessing. Um, it's like, oh, what happened to your face? Oh, baby noses fall off. <laughs> See, so she was nice to him. She's like, oh, have a nice wedding. All right. Well, I. Now she's just so happily walking away. Yeah. She put that big ass butcher's knife in her boot. Now she looked like, did she just kick her door open? Yeah. Like she's a badass. So she's oh. got more chloroform. In like a fucking little decanter bottle. Yeah. Pour it into that rag. Oh, Gwen. Oh, we're going to see some thick boobies. Gwen's getting out of the shower, I'm guessing. And, and here comes Mildred. In. Oh. Ring, 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 ring. She chloroforms Gwen in the face. Indeed. Oh. And now... Gwen wakes up with a Damn. Joker smile. Damn. Fucked up. <laughs> wow. Oh, fuck. You're, that's fucked up. You're you're right. People are much prettier when they smile and fucking snaps her neck. And fucking Steven Seagal snapped her neck. I know. It was, it was like fucking <clears throat> murked her. So now Dave... She's like, oh my god, you killed him. Or, you killed her. And she's like, Dave, you really need to get a better choice in women. And he's like, what happened to your face? She's like, oh, bad surgery. And now she's reasonable. She's like, alright, give me ten minutes before you call the cops. 
Yeah. Let me oh, give you what a, a nice guy. Oh, so she leaves the key. Like she's not coming back. Oh, and they go in for a hug. <laughs> hey, should we hug? I'd no. hug her. I no. I mean, even with Nah, dude, even with that bloody ass nose thing, she's fucking. You just saw her murder somebody. She's still pretty banging looking. And now she's sitting outside chilling. Now all of a sudden a homeless chick comes up to her. She reminds me of like a younger version. You know, like the homeless lady in Home Alone (laughs) 2? Yeah. She's got the the same look. The homeless woman comes like, what happened to your face? Watch plastic surgery? I know what you mean. Oh. Want to drink some of this non uh, labeled brown liquid? Whatever the the medicine must be wearing off. Uh, so Matilda Mildred says it's gross, and she starts puking. That's probably just fucking. Couldn't even say prison wine. I was gonna say toilet wine. Nope. <laughs> oh, she's like, oh, maybe just a little bit more to numb the pain. Yeah, Damn, and she is wow, taking she's... it to the chin. Damn, that's like Chug. half the bottle. Good God, she's still chugging. All right. And that was a one take. That was. Like, there was no, like, cutaway or anything, so you could, like, fake a a chug. And here it goes. And here's Blanche in the Damn, bathroom doing the line. doing fucking rips. Yeah, and she just did some coke. I mean. In the work bathroom? Why does she have baby wipes in there? Is this the work bathroom? Mm, I don't think that Yeah, that's the work bathroom. I don't think there's baby. No, it's not. Look, mm. that's somebody's front. That's her. Oh, that's her. Her house. She's doing rips. Okay. But why would she have baby wipes in her uh, bathroom? I don't know. It's weird. All right. And she's like, "Were you doing coke? No. If I had any, I'd give them to you." I don't like their outfits though. The outfits look like shit. <laughs> she's wearing like a uh, Blanche is wearing like a hee haw. Yeah, it's. Uh, what is it like a like a denim a denim vest with like a with a like a, ne- a neck Ugh, kerchief? No, it's not. It's a fucking onesie. Is a pantsuit? Ugh. Or like a one? Yeah. Uh oh. So now Mildred wakes up in the the homeless camp in the woods, and it keeps doing like a zoom in on all the homeless people's faces. How to get here? I came back to the bench. You were passed out from drinking my fucking homeless piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now she's like, you guys live here? And all the homeless people are like, no, we live in a five-star hotel. <laughs> and I like how they're just like, what happened to your face? What happened to your fucked up face? No, we're just Plastic out here because of the inspirational atmosphere. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, the homeless people are just like, oh, I, I, I can see what happened. I couldn't afford a real doctor, so I went to a bargain doctor. Oh, yeah, it happens to the best of us. That happens to almost none of us. But I still feel bad for her. I guess she was in a place of desperation. So, Yeah. Yeah. Like those women that go down to fucking Mexico and try to get, like, butt implants, and they put, like, fucking, like, caulk in their asses. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what you get. That's what you get for going to the you discount know? doctor. You get what you pay for. Oh, you know what we should do? We should keep track of how many people she's killed. Yeah. So we're at roommate two and sister. sister. That's it right now, right? Is that? I don't know. I like how she just stands up with such confidence. Like, all right. Oh, all right. So, so now the homeless her, woman's uh, like, here's a mask. Like a kabuki mask? Kind of looks like Phantom of the Opera. How do I look? I'm like a force of nature. No. Nah. Give him hell, Mildred. Come on back now. <laughs> Sleep in our tent. <laughs> yeah. And she just starts <laughs> skipping away. I know. She, she has such a chipper attitude about losing her nose and going to off a bunch of people. I hope, dude. I can't wait. So now all the skanky women from work are getting into a car together, going on a road trip. I guess they're going to the company thing. Outing. The outing. All right. So the big forehead girl has snacks for the ride. Yeah. She's like, God, how much do you fucking eat? 
Ooh, and the nerd this, cars pull up in a nerd car. The the Volvo that clearly has had parts from other vehicles put on it. God, that's a Toyota Volvo Corolla. <laughs> none of the panels match. God, and so then another nerdy girl goes over. She's like, "I thought you said I couldn't carpool with you. There was any room." It's like there isn't. <laughs> Fuck it. They're trying to leave her ass. They're like. Yeah, you're too big to be in our car. Like that's fucked up. That's, Ew, and they were parked in a handicapped spot. Yeah, it's like this is like levels of shitheadery. At the same time, though, Blanche is driving a Jeep Grand Cherokee, and that lady like, you looks ain't like shit. a grown up hippie long stockings. Damn, so Mildred's coming through, skipping through the woods with whatever with a vengeance. Now she's back. Are at they at work? work? Yeah, she's at work. I was about to say that's a fucking ball ass house if that's a work. That is yeah, that's nobody's house. So now Uh-oh. Oh, she's downstairs. And she's going to was it Doris? The girl who spread the rumor about her having genital This is a different one, I think, right? I don't know. Or is it I, the same I don't one? think it is. Fuck stabbed wow. her up through the chin to her head. Damn, dude. And then walks down the hall, stabs somebody right in her in, uterus, in their abdomen, uh, and then licks the knife. I mean, that's uncalled for. You Goes into a room <laughs> and slices a face. Whoops, I missed. The so slices there's the slices neck. the neck. There you go. Next there's room, rear naked choke. Out. Good All form. Right. Next room, stabbed to the spine with scissors. Fuck, those scissors are sharp. Sharp. And Did then the splits puts a pencil through some pencil to the jugular, stapling somebody's face. Fuck, this is brutal. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't die; it would hurt as fuck. Yeah. And then here's the owner from the one downstairs. Now she's trying to leave. Oh, guess what? I locked the door, bitch. She turns it around. And she's choking her out. Damn. Just fucking choking her with her bare hands, looking at her. He has got some nice ass teeth, though. <laughs> Look at those. Oh. And now she's... Oh, Doris was the other lady that was there. But uh-huh. she's she's off today. So who's at the front desk? That was a different girl. Damn. So she just killed her because she was there. Well, so no, now she probably she's... said some bitch-ass comment to her. There's Doris. There's Doris. Uh, they look like they're at a high school. Oh. Here comes Mildred. Out by the portables. Fucking trying to do 007 shit. Yeah. She's... <laughs> ding, 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 like ding, ding, ding. Stopping at every corner. Like she's fucking trying to do some Beverly Hills cop. Oh, there's Doris. She shows her her messed up face. And she's like, look at my face. Well, still don't like my nose, huh? There's no pleasing some people. <laughs> now Doris just looking at her like... Guess what? Get the fuck out of there, Doris, you stupid idiot. Okay, Doris's hair looks like a wig. It 100% is. Oh, and... Wow, she got... Here's a big montage. Stab, stab, stab. God damn. (laughs) 30s. It looked like she got shot. (gasps) Ew. Now she looks under her skirt and says genital herpes. I mean, good job, I guess, for Doris. Just commando. So now she calls an Uber. All right. She calls an Uber. He says, where? But, all right, hold on. Let's take a break real quick. Let me go get a drink. We'll be back with more of Grotesque. All right. All right, and we're back with more of Grotesque. We're starting at 39 minutes and 25 seconds, for those of you that are following along with us. (laughs) Damn. And so now she's back at the fucking bar with that stupid bitch who gave her the flat gin and tonic. And she's like, you gave me the flat soda. It's like a it's gin like, and fuck water. You, bitch. What the fuck, man? Oh, and now she's just beating her with a tire iron. God damn. Yep, still going. Ooh, got it like a oh, good, couple all right. good gore shots there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. God damn. This that's just a, that's stomps a head on wound. her head. God damn. Damn, Mildred. <gasps> Please rob her. Did she just... She did rob her. Yeah. She's like, I'm taking my money back. <laughs> that Uh-oh. was fucking flat, yeah. Now she's going into the bar. Yeah. I really like how she just brutally murdered that woman. 
and not a single speck of blood is on that. I know. Dress. It's pretty impressive, right? Uh huh. But oh. Yeah. <laughs> so now she goes up to the guy that did the nose gesture with the, the pool dick stick. face. <laughs> yeah. She's like, "Can I see that pool cue?" Yep. Nope, all right, chalking it up. You know, it's rude to ridicule people. She's gonna go that. Well, God. I was probably drunk. Are you she drunk took now? my 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 uh, my thing when people are rude. Jeez, oh. she stabs the dude and through the head. Damn, straight through the medulla oblongata. That's why alligators are mad. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any medulla oblongata. Let's go back to mama again. Because they have all them teeth. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now she goes to the friend. And he's like, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, so now she's like, you know what? She's like, remorse and everything like that. She's like, I'll let you live, sir. Wow. Yeah, I would. Okay, oh, if I'm says, him. I don't have a pool partner. I'm going to leave then. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to hang around a bar where my friend just died. Right in I front like of me. I how nobody in the bar is running away. Anything. Yeah. See, fuck that. And now she's going to the bartender. She's like, if you serve one more flat gin and tonic, I want to see bubbles, god damn it. I like her resolve. Fuck that. I would have killed that bartender. And I would chug your fucking beer. He's the one that said, no, nothing's wrong with it. So guess what? You don't know how to do your job. Oh, she was doing the um the uh the I'm on camera drink uh drink where you put your hand over the top. No. Nope. And you like we saw in Sharks of the Corn. Nope. I would uh I'd still drink. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> Hell yeah. We wouldn't get through three <laughs> takes where it'd be like, Brian, you're drunk. Like, Brian, god damn it. I said don't. And there's there's the DJ um, Lego. Um, DJ Lego behind us. So there's a homeless guy. Bed. Yeah. And she's like, Here, have this beer. And he's like, You don't judge me. So now apparently like Freddie uh uh, Freddie Lithium. This this is not Freddie Mercury. God damn it! Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is that it's, Marcus Massey? That looks like Marcus Massey, <laughs> but it's How not. How many pairs of sunglasses can you legally wear? But this is this isn't Freddie Mercury. This is Freddie Lithium. Yeah. Uh, is at the dumpster with another guy. That guy looks like a a generic Captain America. I was, it Chris was, Evans. I was going to either go with like a Vince Neal kind of thing this there. This looks like uh, <laughs> S. Crevins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, is that just... Dude, it looks like uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, but like, what's that shit where they dress in like they're like in like, I don't know, fuck. And they have like the little tin pots and the clocks and all that oh, shit. You're talking about like Alice in Wonderland? Kinda. I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah, that's what that guy looks like. <laughs> yeah. About I, like they're about to sing a very happy on birthday. Dude. They look insane. Yeah, they do. Well Holy so, fuck, so we just point at her and she's like, bye finger. Well, yeah, it's rude to point at people. Yeah. Oh, and they just called her a bitch. And so now. Jeez, the person with the sharp weapon, you're going to call them a bitch after they cut your finger off. Damn. I get that you would want to do that. Wow. Ooh. She stuffed a tree twig through his eye. Did she rip out? Oh. Cut off his dick. His balls. Those are his balls. And she's putting or using like a fucking sand wedge. And knocks it right into the bucket. Damn. Good shot. Hole in one for Miltred. Woo, woo. And then she's doing her celebratory dance. Get your pictures where you can. Mm-hmm. So now she's... Who the fuck is we now? Wakey, wakey, Tommy. <gasps> Tommy's her fucking high school boyfriend. Oh. Ooh. Who has some type of recording equipment in his room. Because there's a... Uh, uh, a wind filter. A ukulele. <laughs> I like how he's a grown man, has a fucking blanket of the solar system. Kinda. Maybe he's really into the solar system. Damn, look how nice his hair is, though, even though he was asleep. 
<laughs> well, you always want to be bangable, right? That's what I do. Every time before I go to bed, I comb my hair and get ready. All right. So he's like, I'm calling the cops. Oh. He gets his hand stabbed into his uh, dre- or his nightstand. See, how many ukuleles does he have, actually? Damn. Now she's doing some really bad ukulele. And, and what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn. Now she's calling Kelsey the girl that he kissed when they were dating. Uh oh, hold on. Oh, thank God that she got that phone call. Yeah. Do you remember kissing him? Yeah. Did you, you know, know we were dating? This no. Life changing information. Like fucking on Billy Madison. <laughs> he was like, hey, I want to sorry. He's like, yeah, no problem, man. Yeah. See, that's why. PSA, don't be a fucking dick to everybody, man. No, she's going to another lady's house who's typing and goes through the the dog door it looked like that was fucking cleveland no somehow she fits through the dog door that's crazy she grabs a wine opener the wine oh, corner the a former student so this is a high school teacher i'm assuming damn quagmire <laughs> That's who that. Oh my god! I'm sorry. Is <laughs> that inappropriate? Not a compliment, <laughs> dude. There is no, there's no universe in which that is a compliment. <laughs> I know. That's just what I'm saying. So hopefully, you just if have we like ever a, talk to anybody, like a verbal Tourette's moment. <laughs> god, was like, Quagmire. <laughs> See, no, fuck that. Fuck this teacher. Giggity, the teacher giggity just goo. told her that she should have played Pinocchio in a class play. Like, fuck that teacher. Yeah, that's rude. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why teachers are rude to kids like my kid's teacher? I know. Like, why be shitty to a kid? They can't fight back. Exactly. They don't have the mental framework. Oh, Oh, wow. Fuck. She pulled her eye out. Both of them? Both of her eyes. She's still alive. Kick her right in the cooter. Jesus. So she gets on top of her. God you damn. see her bloodied eye sockets. <sighs> Have we ever seen a movie where somebody humps a uh, ripped out eyeball hole? I don't think we've seen that yet. I feel like I've seen a movie where somebody... I don't think Art the Clown has done that. I feel like it would have been Art the Clown that would have done that. I think he would have. Stuck his wiener inside of a ripped out eye hole. That's so, probably Terrifier 3. God. That's the bridge we haven't crossed yet. So now we're at a photo shoot with this one hot of the, model lady. That's the girl that was in the backseat of the Jeep Cherokee. Not oh, the okay. big forehead, the other one. Oh, wow. All so, right. So when have you ever seen a model photo shoot where they're putting a fur... Like, you know, a towel. A towel. Like, where you put the towel in front of you, between your legs and the back, and you grab it and rub yeah. it forward and backward, like, that as a joke. Seems like a weird thing to photo shoot. Like, yeah, check this out. <laughs> this has been like, on what, my vajayjay. What the fuck? He's having her do weird shit, like, okay, now do a jackhammer. <laughs> okay, do hard work now. This feels Heavy like... lifting. This feels like Zoolander or Austin Powers. Exactly. He's having her do convulsions on a chair. I'm waiting for... And now I'm spent. <laughs> exactly. Okay, give birth. <laughs> now throw something away. Like, dude. Uh, he said it. Did his shirt. He said it. He said, I am spent. <laughs> did his shirt get more and more unbuttoned every time it went back to him? I think so. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that um, was good. That was really good. That was a nice little shout out to like Austin Powers right there. The jackhammer <laughs> fucking photo. I really want to see that one. <laughs> mm-hmm. So now uh, Mildred is talking to the model. Oh, wait. Maybe that's not the girl. Oh, so she asked her to take some pictures, but she never paid her for them because they were terrible. All right. Well, guess what, bitch? This is why you pay your debt. Oh, and then the model just said, F you. (gasps) She's wearing Art the Clown glasses. Yeah, she is. The flower glasses. All right. Well, guess what? Here's a knife. And where's she, the knife gonna go? Oh jeez. So she's there's blood on it. We don't know what happened. Here we go. And don't worry. Now you have a transition from rom com to horror movies. 
There's a big Ooh. M carved in her face. All right. And she pulls a gun oh, out of her purse instantly. and blows her brains out. All right, because makeup couldn't have fixed it or anything like that, but all right. I appreciate her, I guess, being committed to <laughs> her looks. What the fuck? It's a very weird react. I mean, okay, I get it, but, you know. Holy shit, so now there's just a montage. Like, people need to die This is like <laughs> for what they've done in the past. She's just chasing people. One, two, three, four. Okay, I like, like the open-legged run. It's kind of goofy. It's funny. Yeah. Five... Oh, she did an under the bed kill. That's very Friday the thirteenth. Let's go six, <laughs> seven. Watching her high hold the axe. Damn, fucking archery. Eight gasoline on somebody, and then light them on fire. Wow! In the high school, rip somebody from the hallway. Hiding, Hiding in the refrigerator. Eight, wow. nine, ten. Saw your leg Fuck. off. Jesus. Sawing the shin, 11, a bat, 12, the cafeteria. It's going to poison your water with sulfuric, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. Can you just get that at like Albertsons or anything? I guess. What is I this, don't. 13? And now she's just laying there on the ground like giggling to herself. And nobody notices this. that somebody's laying on the ground next to you. You don't have peripherals. God. Uh-oh. What are we at? 14? Yeah, she's going to drop a heavy ball on somebody's head. Damn, and then followed by a bowling ball. Damn. Good God. All right, a drill to the head. What is this, 19? In a cheap lawn chair. My God. What have these people done to you? Yeah, I mean, okay, so the, the head drilling, it was pretty solid because, like, like, it does take a little bit of punching to get through, so that would be more consistent with the skull. Yeah, that one just said that there was the latest victim had over 100 stabs. Ooh, so now we're doing a sexy run on the beach. Oh. But then she has what is very clearly... What is that? She tripped and Oh, fell. no, that's her. That's a bow tie. Yeah, I thought that was going to be, you know, but Something it's else? not. It's not. It's not, no. No, nope, so, she's not from the 70s. The, the trip is pretty funny. So then there's some tatted up... Guido looking dude. dude yeah. Hey, like, hey girl. Hey. He like cat calling at her. Exactly. Some big old buff dude with tats. He's like, what's up girl? And she has a strap on on. All right. Well, never mind. Big pink strap on. And she said, yeah. Bend over and we can hook up. And so now he's backing up. Yeah. As he should. Oh, and then she's doing the fucking helicopter dick with it. <laughs> good for her. I mean, That's I don't know good. how she would know how to do helicopter dick. And now she's chasing him. Oh. What the fuck? And, and she, she grabs found... a fishing rod and <gasps> hooks oh, him in the mouth. Got him in the jug. God the damn. Throat. Holy shit. She has slit his throat with a fishing pole. And now she's talking to somebody she just killed. I mean, we don't know if he's dead yet. All we see is his eyes are fucking... Looks like he has a broken nose. He has two black eyes in his mouth. He looks dead. I mean, he does, but he could also be fucking high off of fucking heroin right now. Yeah, that's true. He's not dead. He was just fucking high on heroin, I think. Okay. How the fuck? Unless... All right. So now she pops up at somebody's car. Beaver going Lake, to Beaver Lake, you say? Beaver she's, Lake. So she's going to hitch a ride. All right. And she hides in the back of the truck. And now we're driving to Summer Grove Campground. Is this... Ew, this is the work getaway? Yeah, this is their, um... What do they call these? Like a... A work work retreat? I don't know. I guess, yeah, maybe a retreat. What's the right word? Something like that. It's kind of like the booze cruise from The Office. (laughs) (laughs) I remember that. So So now, Blanche is being Blanche. And making rude comments, and this dude who... Clearly, is Metro. Are your ears pierced? 
They are not, sir. So mine are, and I, as soon as I pierce my ears, they're like, okay, you got to wait, I don't remember how long until you can switch them out. But they put studs in. I was like, fuck these studs. And I remember like going out like that night or something to somebody's house that I'm no longer, you know. But anyways, and we <laughs> switched them out for like loops. Yeah. So I've always had either solid loops or like studs in my ears. Mm-hmm. I've never had dangly anything unless I'm making fun of you. So this dude had like the dangly earrings and he has like the, what, 70s uh, jazzer size earrings hanging down. Yeah, he had the headband. So now she uh, gets out of the truck at the campground and... And Dr. Wash is there. With his wife. What a fucking lucky ass thing. Hey, sweetie, pass daddy a beer. Uh, you need He's a, got a Molson ice. <laughs> you need a beer to go to the bathroom. Yeah, it's, it's your it's your peeing beer. <gasps> Look, fucking Matilda. You're, you're, you're gonna lose some Mildred. fluid. You got to gain some fluid, right? It's called recycling. Yeah. Mildred goes into the bathroom. Yeah, Doctor Wash. Uh oh, what fucking luck, dude! Wow, and she chops and his dick off. Just straight off. Damn, dude. I mean, I would feel bad for him, but, you know. I mean. Yeah, he could have done something. He's pretty much responsible for her nose he being chopped off. He could have done yeah. something. You know. So now the wife's freaking out in the, in the, uh, in the parking lot on the phone. And Ew. Mildred hands him or her the what is clearly the penis. I mean, we don't know. It's I mean, but just you, something wrapped in paper towels. Or it napkins. looks like a hot dog. It's hot dog shaped. It's a penis. And so then now she she's, just gave her daughter a pound. Yeah. This feels like the um, like the anti uh, Kill Bill, where mm-hmm. you know, like when she murdered the daughter or the the mother right in front of the daughter. Said one day you'll come back and get me. Like I'm so waiting for that yeah. movie. There's supposed to be that movie. I fucking want to see that movie. Yeah. So now there's some hippie ass dude wearing a jean vest, and she's like, "Hey, can I come in?" Blah blah. blah. He's got look at those sunglasses. God, I'm so mad right now. Those are barely sunglasses. They look like sideways flames. That they 100 percent are sideways flames that barely cover your eyes. So now he takes her up to the campground. Hell yeah, he should. What a nice gentleman. God, like... I couldn't... So now the the employees are doing like three-legged races. And like (sighs) Blanche is trying to out-race her partner. Let her stand up. Jeez. Is... All right. Great teamwork. Oh, I mean, trying to do teamwork. <laughs> Way to go, everybody! It's like right there where Blanche is rocking, like those sweatpants and just a t-shirt. And the boss is is like, I'm tired of your outbursts. She's like, That's why I'm good at my job. I play to win. No cutthroat. These corporate retreats are so stupid, and these are a bunch of morons. Guess what, bitch? Now you're fired. Ooh, so now oh. he's poking wow. her in the chest. Pokes her in the chest. Okay. Good. And so she's like, oh, absolutely. Wow. She, so she just does do the triple H. She did a crotch chop, yeah. Hi-ya! Right to my nuts. She didn't do the X, but she... So now the hippie dude and Mildred are just eating ice cream and looking into each other's eyes, licking ice cream cones? Yeah. Hmm. He seriously. Oh, so see, she, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he doesn't even notice her giant nose gap. Yeah, she has nice eyes. She has nice eyes. That's like, no, she has a nice personality. Well played, sir. But she does like that's the thing about her character. She's very charming. That like watching this, she is. Like, she's very level headed. Like you're an asshole. Guess what? You're she's fucking engaging. Dying. She's funny. Like yeah. there, there's, there's never a moment where I'm, 
I'm bored with her because she carries a lot of this movie. I 100% support all of her decisions that she's made so far. I know, yeah. Like, she lets the dude live that actually apologizes? That, yeah, maybe. You know? Well, he didn't really did do anything. Well, yeah, he was kind of the bystander. Yeah. So, Mildred is headed towards the camp. Oh, no, oh, damn, I thought that was her when she started screaming. Nope. It's they're the... on a group run because she's in boots. That yeah, would probably there you hurt go. like That's hell. That's exactly what I'm going to do on a fucking work retreat. I'm going to go for a run. Ew, look how fucking and, windy it is. And he's wearing like, okay, so the boss is wearing like an ascot, uh, a pink sweater and and khaki pants Uh oh, to go for somebody, a run. There's somebody being left behind. Blanche is faking running by getting water on her face. Okay. And she's going to like... Oh, she's going to, like, try to assimilate in the group, right? Yeah, that's what she's doing. Like, oh, oh, such a good run. (laughs) How did she get ahead? How did she get ahead of the group? Huh. And they're like, how come you don't have armpits wet? Because I'm not disgusting. Ew, so now she's telling her close friends that if you tell Francois that I cheated, I'm going to tell... Somebody that you're banging their husband? Yeah. God, these girls. What's that movie? Mean Girls? I think they're just so cool. Yeah. And Francois is back to his cabin. God, I hate that hat. Uh Uh-oh. And here's... That's Mildred. I wasn't feeling so good. Mildred? And he... Or Mildred hits him with a paddle... Knocks him clean out. See why? I don't think he was that bad. Well, okay, I think he allowed the the bad behavior to happen. Oh wow. Oh. She breaks his knee. Fucking chopped him in the knee and now he's gonna try crawling away. Uh I don't think you're gonna be able to crawl away. Yeah. Well she hits him in the ass with the fucking thing. Now she's walking towards him. Damn, he already got down those stairs. They, they okay. They've kind of kept up. Like the 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 knife is in her boot. Uh oh. In she's got a chainsaw shots. in a cabin. Yeah. Somehow she walks out with the chainsaw. Yeah. Uh oh. And he, shove it in his butt. And she or and, and Francois does the uh like the the woman's like no please don't with the two hands right one above his head and one like at his chest <laughs> yeah oh it's, there it goes again oh damn and she's like grind fuck, chopped his leg off and yeah. threw that and chopped his other leg off. oh throws that one chop his arm off oh. oh throws that in the air is he still alive damn chopping That's all like all the limbs and now stabbing him in the stomach and she's just being golden showered with that blood. Damn, dude. Fuck. I mean, all right, enough. Damn. Yeah. So now she finds some hose and she sprays off her mask. And perfectly You don't want to get the mask. How many polka dot dresses does she have? Damn, that thing 100% for sure has to have a... Like a scotch guard maybe on it? Dude, I will fucking... Like a heavy coat. Dude. Ew, and And now... She's talking to one of the other girls from the retreat, using Francois' arm, and slaps her in the face. That's fucking hilarious. That's pretty good. Uh Uh-oh. Takes her in the stall, gives her a swirly. Hell yeah, she does. Well, not quite a swirly yet. We don't have a flush toilet. Ooh, so she's trying to drown her in it. Yeah. But no, I will 100%, like, what if, like, back up Scotchgard, man? Scotchgard, it's fucking too legit. Well, if it if it looks that light and white, yeah. And you don't well, get the spotting. Now the girl is dead. From prop blood. God, what do you think you die of if you get swirly to death? Can Shame. You- <laughs> <laughs> Is that too honest? <laughs> no. I'm going to say fucking, you think it's the odor, the fucking actually drowning, or shame apparently. I mean, like sewer funk. Yeah. 
because that's probably not the best smelling water. They're not trying to like make sewer water smell good, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I don't, I don't work for the water system, but now the Mean Girls, the three girls, Blanche and her and her minions, are out in the in the forest uh, smoking, and Five Head gets. Uh, Gets stabbed with a with a whittled tree branch that snaps in half. Boom. Yeah, that didn't seem like it was gonna work. That was a really thin stick. Well, I mean, I mean, she did get that one. It's like a one time kill. Eyeball. Yeah, it's like a one time kill. He's like seriously, this kills a friend and they're concerned about my nose. See again, these goddamn town folk. I know they're they're one track mind, right? So Blanche runs immediately. And <laughs> damn, so Mildred throws the knife at the other girl, like trying to butcher knife, throw it at her chest, and, and the blunt side hits her in the chest, dunk, and then it falls down the ground. I feel like that is the what would actually happen if you threw a knife through the air, most it is. likely. If you don't know what you're doing, hell yeah. When we went camping, <laughs> I brought my throwing knives and my throwing hatchets, yeah. Yeah, we had to warm up for uh, quite a bit. But, like, first throw, like, that's probably what's going to happen, right? Dude. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like Especially how- if you're cold and you don't know the distance or, you know, the weight and everything like that. Yeah, so now they're all three running and Mildred's... Well, especially if you're dealing with, like, a knife like that with, like, the big blade and the heavy handle. Well, yeah, it looked like it was a full tang knife, yeah. which is good. But so Blanche throws down the other girl. Um and Oh, and she says, Oh, go Mildred. Get her. Wow, Mildred bitch slaps Damn. her. Damn. And then fucking monkey stomped her, fucking grabs a cheek an axe from a pile of uh leaves. Of leaves, yeah. And now she's just instantly in love with it. Wow, that she's is pretty random. Describing to the the uh, the characteristics of the axe, I would like that. She's like, probably painful. Wow! Damn, like, chopped her right in the f- chopped her fucking foot off. Just to make sure she can't go anywhere. I thought she would have just like hit her in like the leg, but no, she chopped her foot off. Oh, please don't kill me. Damn, I like that. I won't kill you if you eat your foot. Ew! Don't do. It. Look how dirty that foot is. <sighs> So, okay, I would instantly gag on my own foot because I'm not a cannibal. I would think that you're just gonna fucking die anyways because you're gonna bleed out. Uh, yeah, because nobody's gonna bring a hot iron to cauter- cauterize your your stump, God. right? How gross! Yeah, I can't do it. And then she like n- throws it like a nerd. Oh, and here it goes. Wow, and damn, like. Mildred just, uh, chops her head off like uh, like she's shooting a hockey puck. Yeah, pretty much. A. Eh? There you go. <laughs> so now everybody's back at the cabin. Everybody's just huddling for safety, pretty much. I mean, not even really. Everybody's well, just at the cabin. Like, I want to be like, hey, are we missing three people? So here comes Blanche. Oh, right. to Francois' cabin. They're looking cabin. for Francois. They but, don't see a dead, mutilated, chopped up body and blood everywhere outside of those cabins. Yeah, so now here comes Blanche to tell everybody that Mildred's after them. This has to... I mean, this can't be filmed based in the 80s because they're rocking brand new cars. So now Mildred comes in and she's like, all right, everybody, I'm, I'm only here... To kill Blanche. To kill this Jaeger bomb. <laughs> She's like, so if you guys have a problem with it, then you can stay and I'll murder you, basically. But otherwise, you can leave. You guys can roll out. And everybody's trying to leave. Ooh, and so they're saying like, fuck you, Blanche. We work together, we work together and you don't even know my name. I'd On my way out, I'd like kidney shot her. Or my name's liver Carl, shot her. motherfucker. <laughs> and now Blanche like you fucking cowards yeah that's how we're gonna stick up for you yeah so now everybody's like oh, Dude, was hi, his Mildred. name Tim yeah <laughs> who fucking knows mm. 
Right, and Hanukkah, everybody's like, okay, so you're literally just going to kill her. All right, yeah. I'll see you on Monday. So now this this is Blanche's grasping at straws, pretty much. All right, let's get out of here, guys. This is a problem you could have solved months ago. A dollar an hour to stay and protect her. A buck a seventy-five. Oh, somebody so, just chopped her up a middle finger and said, "Bye, bitch." Yeah. Wow, Blanche Damn, leaves with a punch. Okay, fucking right hook. She didn't leave any back on that one. Man, she's saying, "You think I live without a fight?" Oh yeah. Jumps off the thing. All right, here we go. Kicked and, her right in the cooter. Damn, and, right in her cooter. Yeah, another one back. Damn. Both of them were like, damn, that hurts. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't do that to each other. Ew, and she says, when was the last time you used yours? Damn, she's just fucking Blanche's WWF in her ass. Oh. And then we get an arm bar. Oh. And then Blanche and then Mildred, bites her. Mildred's leg gets bit. And she's trying to do the Undertaker jump. The martial arts jump. Where, like, if you're laying on your back okay. and you roll your feet up and you push up with your hands. I used to be able to do that. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, it's not as cool as it looked in the movies when I did it in real life. Okay, so maybe somebody did it before The Undertaker. Oh, shit. Okay. So Blanche was on her, almost like an RNC. I don't know how she fell off of it. Oh, Blanche looks like she's fucking her up. Uh Uh-oh, she's got her double-handed choke. Yeah. How'd you ever do this since? Your huge nose, ugly face. <laughs> since you God. started the company. Wow. She could have been a nice person. It's like, ever since you were ugly, I dreamt of killing you. So now, Jesus. Mildred kicks Blanche in the face, has the knife out. Knocked her out. Oh, so now, now Blanche is tied up. Spread eagle status. My mom was an alcoholic. It was never personal. Hmm. She won the genetic lottery. Like, hey, maybe you shouldn't be fucking bragging about all this shit right now. Doesn't mean you're a bad person. So now yeah. we get the excuse train of why I'm not a good person. Mm-hmm. But if you knew you weren't a good person, then why didn't you become one? Exactly. I mean, I don't know. Like, that seems like a good idea. <gasps> she wow. says, I'm killing you for fun. and has those like the, weed things. You know, like the weed whackers. Stabs her, then opens it up inside of her. The non-electronic ones. Put that ones. shit inside you. Jeez, and starts All pulling right. your guts out. Starts pulling out some stuff. Ugh. God. For some reason, we watched my 600-pound life the other day. <laughs> Ugh. And now she's using her her small intestine as, as a, a jump, jump rope. rope. That's pretty fun. Beat my grade six record, huh? She jumped it like three times. Oh, now maybe she's, she's not somebody. athletic. It's okay. I mean, not everybody is. Danger Dan. He told me you can get me with my new nose. Yeah, he'd be there in two hours. All right. Oh, so she's gonna call up another. Discount doctor, huh? Apparently. All right. You just don't uh, learn your lesson, huh? So now she's in... Oh, the Jeep Cherokee, and she sees headband guy from earlier with the hoops. Don't not just go for it. Oh, she's driving Blanche's... Yeah, but that's... Don't not just go for it. That's a double negative. I mean, I'm pretty, you know... So go for it? Faded, but I'm pretty sure I know how to read. So go for it. Don't not just go for it. <laughs> that's, that's, Don't stop helping people not help. So now we get this long uh, driving sequence. And... To, ooh, I'd instantly turn around and have the, some shitty ass of two bears kissing... <laughs> <laughs> guessing bear painting, <laughs> and she gets to uh, this uh, 
lady. Her with, nose for sure has to have fucking like gangrene by now or some shit. I know. It's been a minute. Yeah. Oh, three so she gets to. Months oh, later. This is a doctor's house, apparently. Three months later, huh? Because the lady walks up to her and wants to show her her nose, and it's normal. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, she's like. I mean, she's a, a you know, a, a good looking girl. Yeah. Uh oh. And here comes a Ford. Is that a Ford? It looks like a Ford. Oh, yeah. it's 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 uh it's it's Ronald Jeremy. It's Ronald Hare. Ronald Hare. And he gets out of the car and then puts his hand on the mirror and like looks into the. His name's Felix, huh? Is he wearing dog tags? He is. And he's like, Mildred? Oh, it was his oh, mom. The, so so Ronald Jeremy's mom was the, the nose doctor. And that's his sister that he was spending time with Ew, that she freaked out like about. like nerds? Yeah. Well, do you like my face? I'm beautiful now. Mildred. You were always beautiful. Give me your hand. She's a foot taller than him. Yeah. Uh-oh, and now we're doing the above... Shut up. I mean, I could, Okay, I'm... We're doing I mean, the above view and it's fading out? I'm not all f- against effort, but I feel like maybe she could... Uh, that was the end of it. ...do better, maybe. Possibly. Who? Ronald Hare's sister? 100% she could have. No, I'm talking about Mildred. She could do better. <laughs> oh, 100% but, Mildred could do better than Ronald Hare. But if you want somebody who's devoted to you that is going to... Mm-hmm. To care for you, that has put in mental work to get to you. Yeah, this is the guy that is going to stick by you no matter what. And he's on a, she's driving a motorcycle, and, and he's ride, riding, bitch. Yeah, that's how much he loves you, dude. When we were in college, when I was in college, there was this girl, like naturally platinum blonde hair, like fucking. She was very, very, very attractive, you know. It wasn't like you wouldn't say, hey, you're fucking hot. Like, it was one of those ones like, dude, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, everything like that. She was very nice, very, like, everything about her. You're just like, holy shit, like, like a 10 for sure, Yeah, you know. And she was married, and you look at the husband, and the husband had some issues. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? You know, like, yeah. this guy, like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. how could this have happened? And so we're thinking, we're just like, dude, maybe, like, she was drowning or something. And he saved her. And so she's like, oh, I love you, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, so we, all of us became friends. Like, the guy, the, you know, super nice couple, everything like that. And she's like, no, we just have been dating since high school. And, you know, we got married. And you're just like, holy shit. Like, so there's no backstory, like... <laughs> You know, he fucking saved your life or anything like that. He saved me in an earthquake. No, you know. <laughs> but then here's another thing too that you know when uh, when we worked, we worked at a, a phone place, and there was a very 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 attractive girl there. So, my buddy, like, we see this you know this and this coworker, and he's like, I'm gonna go talk to her. And so he goes over and he's like, hey, you know, can we go out on a date sometime or anything? And she's like, yeah. And so, like, it instantly, like, blew his mind because he's like, what the fuck? Like, you're completely way out of our league. But yet she agreed to go out on a date with him. And so on the date, she's like, you know what? Unfortunately, she's like, because there are men that were intimidated by my looks, that I don't get asked out a lot. Wow. Because a lot of people are just like... I'm not even going to try to fucking ask her out on a date because she's going to say, you know what? No, I'm out of your league. But she's like, I don't get asked out a lot because of that. And we're just like, damn, all right. She's trying to be a cool chick, you know? But anyways, fucking shoot your shot, uh, Jeremy Hare. Whatever the Ronald Hare. <laughs> Ronald Jeremy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But let's... uh. Let's refill. All okay. right, we'll be uh, we'll be back with final thoughts on grotesque. Mm-mm-mm. 
All right, and we're back with final thoughts on Grotesque. I thought it was funny. I thought it was good. Yeah. I mean, to me, it had a very like Sleepaway Camp 2, Sleepaway Camp 3 vibe where you get most of the perspective is from the killer. And they are meant to be like, you know, your story and your entertainment. Oh yeah, and I, I see it. I like I admire this because um, Elizabeth Chamberlain really like holds the story together. She's interesting the entire time. She's funny. Yeah, like I really like the movie. Like we say it, like damn near every episode. You know, put yourself in their positions. You know, and. She for sure, like I agree with every single one of her kills. Like, there's not an innocent person in the bunch. Don't be a fucking asshole. Yeah, uh, like it's that easy. Don't be, don't be a dick. Don't be stupid. Don't be rude. Don't be a bully. Don't, like, and uh, I think that I remember, um, the so I have two older brothers, right. And I remember, like, it was the summer from sixth grade, because back then, it used to be kindergarten through sixth, Mm -hmm. and then seventh through ninth, and then tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, right? Yeah. And so I remember my have... yours was a little different than mine, but yeah. Really? Yeah. I think it's so stupid to have ninth through twelfth. No, we had... um, What was it? We had, like, first or sixth, seventh and eighth. We had a ninth grade campus, and then we had, yeah, like we were the last year of the ninth grade campus because they realized how, how dumb, stupid it is how, and how dumb much it was money to, you're wasting. To have one campus for one grade for an entire zip code. What yeah, the fuck? It was a very dumb idea. But yeah, so I think it turned into a middle school, and it became like a, a seventh and eighth, as well as the other seventh and eighths, because they added high schools. But so, so I went from like a one through six to a seven and eight to a nine. And like, like, why the fuck separate that one? But then I went to the new campus because of where I was zoned. Mm -hmm. Um, And we didn't, we had ninth, 10th and 11th our first year, but no seniors because all the seniors elected to stay at the other campus which is what re- the fuck yeah it's really weird at redlands high school so we had no seniors because i guess it was a big deal like they all wanted to graduate on their campus so they got to stay so we so we became our own campus and like so 9th 10th and 11th so our second year was the first year of graduates so we were the third graduating class from what the fuck like in 2002 like 2000 was our first graduating class because 99 was our first like i guess was our first technical year there you graduated 2002 yeah what the fuck so i really am older than you you are older than me what the fuck how old are you 41 you're full of shit i'm not you graduated in 2002 and you're 41 yeah no you fucking didn't well 2000 sorry my math's bad. Yeah, but <clears throat> I graduated in 2000, and I just turned 40. I'm 41. I I don't know why that's the case, but well, I started school in California. I started school my kindergarten year. I was um, I was four years old. This is where everybody learned that Anthony doesn't know math. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so I started school because my birthday is the end of September. And so I started school when I was four. And so everybody, when I graduated, when I graduated high school um, in 2000, all the juniors were older than me. Hmm. Yeah. So technically I should have. Well, I mean, there were a lot of 17-year-olds in my graduating class. I graduated when I was 18. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, so ours, it was K through 6, 7 through 9, 10 through 12. That works. Yeah, I think it does work because, dude, 
so I had older brothers, and oldest brother was a senior, older brother was a sophomore. And then when my older brother was a senior, I was a sophomore and stuff like that, you know? Mm-hmm. So that way we had fucking, I want to say a generation kind of thing of me when I became a sophomore, like everybody knew who the fuck I was. Everybody, all the teachers knew who I was, everything like that. Right. Yeah. But I remember from sixth grade to seventh grade, my brother's like, Brian, look, fucking, we're going to be in these schools, man. Like, you got to do some shit and you'll be fucking cool and everything like that. And so I remember from seventh grade all the way up, like, I was friends with everybody. I fucking, you know, I had my my tight group, but I was friends with everybody. The drug addicts, the fucking preps, the gangsters, the goths, the drama kids the nerds the religious kids i was friends with everybody and everything because like i was like you know what if you're friends with everybody you're gonna have a lot as dumb as it sounds a lot more friends a lot more respect rather than just being some douchebag fucking jock who only has friends with the jocks and then you know when they pick on the smaller kids then they get respect face to face but as soon as that jock turns around Everybody's like, fuck that guy. Yeah. You know? And so, like, in my seventh grade year, that's when, like, it was literally like a light switch where I was like, dude, I got to, you know, start doing this shit differently. And so I believe I was like, friends. So that's why, like, I really like Mildred because, like, she was nice to every single person, even though everybody was a bunch of fucking bitches to her. So she basically gave herself mental or the the mental ability to wash herself of being nice to people as yeah. soon as like the, <clears throat> more or less like I don't this is like it's like a fun psychotic break break but it's more of a but it is a psychotic break where like the flip switched or the you know yeah you know I, I mean. think yeah. You act like a fucking asshole, then you deserve what's coming to you. And I, I no longer feel bad for you exactly. when I do the thing I'm about to do. Exactly. Because you earned this. Exactly. I wasn't picked on. I was anything. I'd protect the kids that were picked on and everything. Yeah. But I 100% supported Mildred. And her actions. Well, like, that's the thing. Is like she comes off very sympathetic, and this is the kind of movie that, um, kind of like running in contrast to the one you watched last week with Shannon, where I think I mentioned this previously to you, that my main issue with the movie is if the influencers are just supposed to be like self-reverential dickheads. Mm-hmm. And we want to, we wish to watch them die. Then the killer has to be sympathetic. Yeah. And I want to root for him because, yeah. because in a horror film, I have to root for somebody. Yeah. Because people are dying and I either need to feel bad for the people that are dying or good that they are being marked up. Or good they're being, yeah. <laughs> or good they're being marked up. I like the way you say that. So in this movie, I feel good for the killer and I feel bad for the, or, and I, or I feel, I feel good for the killer and I'm glad that the people that are dying are dying Yeah, because you set the balance properly. So the story is weighted, even though in this movie, we're not getting like a ton of like in-depth story, which we really don't need mm-hmm. because I feel like we're on like terrifier one level storytelling where it's kind of like a highlight reel of kills more or less, but I still feel satisfied in what I'm getting because it's a horror film. So I know what I'm getting. Um, well, well, at the same time, you're telling me a story and you're telling me I'm rooting for the killer. So I'm following that. Huh. And, and that's the difference between this and like a fun house where everybody's fucking vanilla. Like, it was just... I hope there's a number two. Like, so that was a big thing, too. Like, my fucking senior year, like, I won, like, Prom King. And I, like, I was... I want to toot my own horn. Like, I was fairly popular 
with like everybody, like I said, because by that point, I had had almost six years of fucking being nice to every single group of kids. And so, okay, Ben Stiller, huh? I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to make a big deal, but I'm I'm kind of a big deal, right? Fucking Will Ferrell. <laughs> but I was saying, so like when I went to I have many our, leather uh, books. <laughs> when I went to our um, what do you call it? Our high school reunion. Like I was really hoping to see like some of the people that you know weren't that didn't like I I enjoyed fucking high school man like I really liked it like I thought it was fun my senior year um, I lived with my best friend and like I think I missed a week of school my senior year because mm-hmm. my best friend's dad passed away but everything my senior year was so fun and everything. And I went to our reunion and I was like, oh, I'm going to see the people that like hopefully, um, what do you call it? Like I changed their lives for like, like I would not like I would, I always thought of putting myself in their shoes as well. You know, so when there's the people in PE class that I know damn well that you're going to be fucking picked last. So I'm going to pick you first. And this, you know, like my PE class friends, since I had my girlfriend and my fucking best friends were in those classes. Yeah. And so it's like, Brian, you're fucking, you're uh, team captain one. I'd pick the most like unathletic people because I was like, I don't want them to be the ones that are embarrassed and having to stand there and be waiting to be picked last and everything like that. Like I genuinely was very nice to everybody. But what was really sad and unfortunate was like when it came time for our high school reunion, only like the, I don't want to say the nerds that fucking the football team from like, you know, 2000. This is our football team. Sorry. (laughs) We got DJ Lego again. Lego, lay down. He's scratching those records. (laughs) But... It was for the most part. It was the the football team that showed up to the reunion. There wasn't hard like my reunion was. Well, my graduating class was the biggest, yeah. but yet our reunion they literally had, I think four or five banquet tables. Oh wow! Filled with people, like nobody showed up to it, and it was the people that were like, "Hey man, remember when we played football together?" And you're like, where's everybody else? You know, like, did they just move on? I'm like, fuck high school. I hate everybody there. You know, like I, yeah. So it was sad that people didn't show up to it. And so like, that's why Mildred, like, I feel she, like the pool scene where she murdered that one dude was like, hey, do this. And the guy's like, I'm sorry. She's like, all right. You know, if you really are sorry and you're going to be a better person, I'll let you live. Yeah, which I kind of like that balance because it shows that there is like a level of, um, you know, like this is vengeance, but at the same time, it's not like blind vengeance. Like exactly the sins you committed in the past are the only thing I'm judging on. But yeah. like if you if there is like a level of like uh, a level of sorry within you, there's probably a better way to say that. But well, I mean, um, that guy didn't really do anything, but but he, but he he added to the proceedings by not stopping the proceedings. Yeah, by not being like, "Hey, you're being a dickhead," by exactly putting the pool stick up to your nose, which was fucked one up. of my favorite parts of the that movie. Was fucked up, it is. <laughs> like that's the thing is like it's really fucked up, but at the same time, like yeah, I can put myself in that guy's shoes, and that's some shit I would do in my twenties. I would, I I would, like I'm I'm pretty sure like, um I think it was St Patrick's Day and my one of my good buddies and his wife were trying to set me up, and she brought along one of her girlfriends and this is gonna sound terrible. Uh oh. (laughs) Like her girlfriend was named Destiny. God. And so, like we're both military guys. We're both like. Like ingrained in your military DNA is to pregame for life. 
Oh, I thought you were just going to say pregame in general. But so, like, <laughs> so you get your coffee before you go to work because you want to make sure you're awake for work and do your best job. But then when it's time to be off, you're going to get drunk. You got to hurry up and take your downers before yeah. you get off of work. Yeah. So, oh. <laughs> so, so, like, she was like, like, um, she's a sweetheart. Like, she's a really great woman. Good like job, his, Destiny. No, his no, his wife is oh. a really great woman. She's trying Screw to prep you, us. Destiny. She's trying to prep us, and she's like, her name she's is a nice Destiny. Personality. And so, like, me and the other guy, I won't say his name. Um, she works at the club. <laughs> no. So yeah, you, you you see where my my brain is going. I mean, with a name yeah. like that, yeah. And so we're like now we both say it almost at the same time, like like it's <sighs> like psychic link. It was like and now to the call into the main stage, mm-hmm. destiny, and and she's like you fucking assholes. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, at the same time, <laughs> uh, yeah, like <laughs> it's 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 pointed right there. Like we have a, you put the ball on the tee for me, and told me not to swing. Yeah, I'm a very different person now. Like that's the thing you gotta you gotta give people heads up. Yeah, you gotta give people heads up. She gave us the heads up. She saw the reaction. They were kind of there, but nobody really interacted with each other. Probably because you told them like, uh, you know, yeah, no, nope. yeah, no. Because now you're expecting something. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, nah, I thought Mildred. No, yeah, that thing is, like, Mildred is my favorite character of this movie, and I think that's the intent of this. Yeah. It's supposed to build the Mildred story. Yeah. And I think it does that very well. Yeah, like, there's people, like, she rightfully so marked up all those people so i don't know if i've said this when i was a junior in high school there's somebody who wrote a a bad letter to the school and it's like just wait until this date and they're threatening to you know do some shit to the school and like my name was on that list of people that were gonna be marked up and so the the school contacted my parents and everything. And I was like, that's, it's okay. You know, like I haven't, I haven't done anything wrong. Like it's probably just something, blah, blah, blah. And I just remember grabbing just a bulletproof vest and fucking rocking it to school that day. And my mom got so pissed off at me. She's like, why would you wear a bulletproof vest to school? Like, blah, blah. You should have stayed home. And so when they found out who the kid that wrote the letter was, like it was a kid in our PE class. And we're just like, dude, like, why the fuck would you write that? And we're just like, we've never done anything to you. Yeah. Like, you know, and he's like, oh, you guys are just the popular kids. And I was like, so you're pissed off at us because of that? Like, that's not fuck. like, you know, like I can understand yeah. if we were assholes or anything, but that was literally his only excuse. He said that he was doing it to get attention. And the reason why my name and, you know, a couple of my friends' names were on there was because we were the popular kids in his class. Because it would catch eyes. Yeah. Well, my mom got so yeah. pissed off at me because I was just rocking a bulletproof vest. She's oh like, you're just going to egg him on and this, this. And I was like, I don't even know what's going I on. I mean, okay, I can see her point. She'll buff out. It's in the, That's why. Live your life a quarter mile at a time. The bulletproof vest is a big fuck you. Live your life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> okay, Dom. <laughs> it's all about family. <laughs> yeah, so I remember that. But I mean... Like I said, like I there's our fast X promotion. <laughs> there's so much more shit Fuck that happened over this movies. weekend. There's so much more that happened over this weekend with that movie. But it's all about family. Yeah. No, so like I believe in truly, like just fucking be nice to everybody. Yeah. Be nice to everybody. Don't be an ass. Don't be a bully. Don't be a prick. You know? If you are, then this is the shit that's going to happen to you. I mean, I feel like Mildred's going to, you know, if you're <laughs> if you are a fan of the independent horror uh, movie crowd, or if you're in this this area or in this arena, mm. then like we're all kind of weirdos. Yeah, because if you look at the mainstream stuff, 
it's it's very cookie cutter it's very buttoned up it's very um safe yeah and if you look at independent it's like i gotta We're watch a little this. bit of bit of this movie before i know what i'm gonna get uh-uh. because there could be some sideways weird fucking shit in here and i don't know until i watch it Nah, yeah and i that's the part i love just go ham yeah don't i guess that's another thing too Nah, everybody's too sensitive these days yeah unless you're being serious and you're an asshole then let, like the people that go to like the comedy shows it's like screw you comedian they're just you know they're making jokes I come from a very diverse family, so all of our jokes are always fucked up. Yeah. And, like, I think what my family does is we try to say a really, really, really mess up thing to try to get my mom to be like, you know what? You're grounded. (laughs) Like, as a fucking 40 year old person, you're grounded. I don't want you to leave your house this weekend, Brian. Like, that's what the hell happened with our family. Like, we'll say some shit like. What the fuck? Like, I think my sister sent something over, and this is probably going to get us in trouble, where she's like, you know that the Titanic pools still have water in them? And you're like, God damn it. My mom's like, you're in trouble, Sarah. Like, yeah. But I mean, at the same time, she's got a point, though. They still do have their water in it. See? And so my mom is like, Why? Like, what did I do wrong raising you kids that you got to say something? That's pretty funny. The dumbest shit. Or, like, there's another one that's like, did you know that there are more planes in the ocean than boats in the sky? (laughs) Yeah, fucked up. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See? Amelia Earhart would find that funny. (laughs) No, she's on the moon, man. (laughs) All right. I know goddamn well. All right. Yeah. But no, great movie. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll talk to you next time. All right. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the podcast. This podcast is available on all major podcast networks and YouTube. If you like what you're hearing, please follow, like, and subscribe to us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.